Hello, in this video, I introduced the possibility of networking via YoTribe. So I am now in Firefox and I will go to the YoTribe page where I just accept the privacy policy and I enter my name. And also the webcam actually should pop up. Just switch the camera. There I am. Hello, so I'm now taking a photo. This photo will be quite important because it will be kind of my avatar for the rest of the YoTribe meeting. So let's make a nice photo. Yeah, that's that's good enough. So I click on next. And I now do hear the sound that is being played. So yes, that's a nice, nice check. And I also see like the, the yellow bar is changing. So I'm being heard, um, my microphone works. If this is not the case, then I of course would need to check whether with the equipment everything is okay or also via the browser. So if the browser has all the necessary permissions. So for instance, with Firefox, whether the webcam and the audio is actually allowed. So, and here is a question that is being asked. So I can here um, just enter the information that is being um, yeah, asked. So this is just to give you some, some information for the, for the networking, for instance, right? So methods, that's one of my interests. And now I just clicked on, on join. So I'm the only person in the room right now. And you see also a, a quite shabby um, background image that can be changed by the host at any time. And I'm now just waiting for another guest to join. While we wait, um, let's explore what the, what the options are. Here you have a list of all participants. So right now it's just me. Uh, Julie is on her way, so sh she should appear here quite soon. We do have a chat, so you can say, uh, we can chat in a circle. You will see what this means in a second. Um, we can chat just from one person to another. So Julie is here now, so I can just um, so yeah, say hi to her. Um, and I could just shout out to everyone. Okay, so these are the three levels of, of, of the chat. Um, I, uh, here um, with the cock, I also have the possibility to, to like, change the name and my picture, the input source for video and audio and everything. If I'm logged in as a host, I can, as I said, can also change like the, the room background, the icebreaker question that was. Um, oh, also the, if I'm a host, I can also change room background. Uh, I can set a password. I can change the question that was being asked when I entered the room and I can, of course, update the room name. So that's, that's about it. Um, now, if I want to move around, you see Julia is now here, and I also see like what she answered as a as this the icebreaker question. And if I just click with my left mouse button, I can move around freely in this area. And once I come close to some other person, this automatically pops up as a video chat. I can say hi, Julia. <laughs> hi, nice to nice to see you here. Now this is a, <laughs> what, what we now have here is a, is a so-called circle. So if I now use the chat feature again, for instance, um, this would uh, go to the circle. And a circle would be everyone who would be like within the radius of, of us two here. So that could be more people, let's say five, four people. Um, beyond that, the connection or the bandwidth may be a bit under duress. Right? But if it's four or five people, that's perfectly fine. You see all people pop up here in, in the top bar and you can just talk. And if I have enough of, of the chat, I just walk to maybe to another group, right? So it's, it's very easy. The, the moment I am close to someone, it pops up as a video chat. And if I yeah, go away, if I increase the, the distance between the others, um, the chat or the video chat disappears again. So that's about it. I think there's nothing else to be talked about because this is a really simple yet effective software. Have fun networking.